Hello and welcome. Today I will be unboxing and swatching the new Orly Spice It Up collection. This is their fall holiday collection and it's listed as a breathable one-step manicure color and that means that you would not need a base coat or a top coat if you didn't want it. I received this collection as PR so I wanted to say a huge thank you to Orly for sending this over and here you can see there are six shades in this collection and they are all creme shades. So this is my first time getting a collection from Orly and I do like the packaging. It's very neat and minimal. Here you can see there is like sticky tape on the back here. So they're all in there really well. There's not any extra like styrofoam for each individual polish, but it made it to me safely and it was also packaged with paper in a box. So it made it safe and that is great. Also I noticed on all of these lids there's this one step like plastic covering and I was wondering if it meant I wouldn't be able to screw the top off with it so I still can as you can see um, I definitely am gonna remove that because one of my favorite things about Orly is these silicone grippy handles so I don't have to remove the plastic but I want to and after doing five of these I wanted to show you how difficult this is to get off so there's like a perforation along the side of the like plastic and it's not easy to get off like I can't do it with my nails I was worried I was gonna like break a nail which i don't want obviously so i actually had to cut it and then slowly peel it off and there was like no easier way to get this off but yeah i definitely wanted to get my hands on these grippy tops these grippy caps because they make it so easy to apply but, like they're not going anywhere they're not slippy they're just very ergonomic and like user friendly So as there's six shades here, I'm gonna break it into three and three. I'll do three on one hand and three on the other, and I'll try to arrange them in a way that is pleasing to me at least. So I'm gonna do these three shades on my left hand, and I'm going to do these three shades on my right hand so you can see them next to each other. So as far as prep goes, I have a layer of OPI Nail Envy. I always keep a layer of this on my nails for all the time to protect them. And I am gonna do a layer of the CND Sticky Base just because these colors are dark and I wanna make sure I don't get any staining. It says I don't need it, but I'm gonna do it just in case. So the first color I'm going to start with is No Fig Deal. So No Fig Deal is described as a deep dark purple creme. I'll be doing two coats of each shade just to give an idea of the opacity. The formula is great on this one. It's really easy to work with and it's very dark, but it goes on very smoothly. It's self-leveling and it's looking great. Next up we have Yam It Up, which is an orange creme. So another thing I really like about Orly is they have the round medium width brushes, which I just feel like are so easy to use around the cuticle area. And the formulas on these so far have been really great, self-leveling, and easy to use. So I do feel like Yam It Up is drying a little bit more like satin finish, like it's not as glossy as No Fig Deal, uh, just for reference, because it says it doesn't need a top coat, but I feel like I definitely would put top coat on this one specifically. Next we have Caught Off Gourd. And this is described as an orange yellow creme. Are you guys enjoying these food puns? Because <laughs> I am. And I definitely feel like they are um, <laughs> accurate to their names. This makes me think of a, a nice ripe squash. <laughs> So I'm noticing with Caught Off Gourd, this yellow, that it's probably the least opaque of 
the three I've tried so far. I think with this one, um, with longer nails especially, you might need three full coats, which isn't a problem because it dries pretty quickly and it goes on really nicely. Um, but I do have pretty distinct ridges on this finger and I feel like they still kind of show through, but it is a gorgeous color and it would probably need three coats. So here we have No Fig Deal, Yam It Up, and Cut Off Gourd in a little Skittle Manny, and this is with no top coat with two coats each. Next up, we have Rooting For You, which is described as an earthy, rich brown creme. And please bear with me as I paint my dominant hand. I definitely don't have as much finesse when I'm painting with my non-dominant. <laughs> So here are the more brownish looking colors. No Fig Deal is a lot darker and leans more purple. And here you can see Rooting For You is a bit warmer and lighter. Next we have Look At The Time, which is described as a rich green creme. And I personally would categorize this as a dark olive shade. Unfortunately, the brush is a little wonky, so I think I may have to order some uh, replacement brushes because I was struggling a little bit more with the application around the cuticle area with this one. No big deal, but yeah, it's a little wonky. Last we have Back for Some More, which is described as a darkest olive creme. So this one definitely looks black if it's not in like very bright specific light, but if you do see it under light, you can kind of see there is a little bit of a dark green undertone, but to the naked eye or to other people, it'll probably look black. So here we have the whole collection as two Skittle Mannies and I have Rooting For You, Look At The Time, and Back For S'more on my right hand. I definitely feel like this Spice It Up collection makes me think of fall. It's very earthy, so great for chilly sweater weather. I wanted to say thank you again to Orly for sending me the Spice It Up collection. Loving this collection for festive fall manicures. And as always, thank you for watching.